but it was even harder to control them when he was going down again. was on the mainland, collecting passengers for Sodor. But there were too many people, and his coaches were full. Oh, no! The train's going without us! Don't worry, little boy. I'll be back. I promise. <whistles> There's still one more train before Christmas! <whistles> It was already late by the time Connor reached Knapford Station. Sir, if I can get some more coaches, then I can make one more run to the mainland and back, and everyone will be home for Christmas! You'll have to be quick, Connor. More heavy snow is on the way. Don't you worry, sir. I'm a very fast engine. <coughs> Morning, Duncan. Isn't this great? It's busy, and everyone's so happy. Well, it's all right for some. All these extra passengers are slowing me down. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> ah, humbug. <sighs> on we go, finally. As Duncan went on his way, Scar Lowy felt all of his festive spirit fly out of his funnel. Oh, my. By the time Scar Lowy arrived at the depot, he didn't feel very Christmassy at all. Duncan was complaining to me about the cold, and he told me there was no sand for our sandboxes. But there's plenty. He told me his passengers were slowing him down. Duncan seems determined to turn the holiday season into one big chore. I'm sure he'll cheer up when he sees the depot. Bah, humbug. All the snow and sand is turning into slush, and my wheels are wet and gritty. One day, Harvey was loading flatbeds at Brendam Docks where the Fat Controller's new engine, Porter, was working. <laughs> Harvey had never met Porter before, and Porter had never seen a crane engine. Hey there! You're a really useful engine. Or should I say, you're a really useful crane. <laughs> I'm a crane engine, so uh, you can say either, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Then I suppose you must be doubly useful. Pleased to meet you. My name's Porter. A pleasure. My name's Harvey. Oh, look, Ben. It's Harvey. What's he doing down at the docks? He's probably trying to go fishing, Bill. <laughs> Better put your hook in the water, Harvey, if you want to catch something. <laughs> oh. 
always teasing like that. Don't mind them, Potter. I won't. Then there was trouble. Oh! Ooh. Watch where you're going, Bumpy Boiler. <laughs> Bumpy Boiler! <laughs> what now? I'm sorry, Caitlin, but Vickerstown Bridge is closed for maintenance. It won't open again until morning. You must take your passengers back to the station. You will all have to spend the night on the island. Some of the passengers were very disappointed. But Caitlin liked the idea of spending the night on the island of Sodor. Oh, sir! I've never spent a night on Sodor before. Can I sleep at Tidmouth Sheds? Uh, well, I suppose that would be all right. <laughs> Calm down, Caitlin. I don't know what people get up to on the mainland at this time of night, but on the island of Sodor, people like to get their sleep. Sorry, sir. Now, take your passengers back to Kelsthorpe Station calmly and quietly. You must consider others. <laughs> Caitlin tried to be calm and quiet as her passengers disembarked. But by the time Caitlin was ready to leave, she was far too excited to remember what the Fat Controller had said to her. Most of the engines don't take James's stories too seriously. But Percy found the stories very scary. Especially because Percy often pulled the mail train at night. Sometimes at night, Things look scarier than they really are. And that's when I saw the ghost train. <gasps> James, Percy doesn't like your stories. Well, it's not my fault if Percy's not as brave as I am. If you're so brave, why don't you go out at night and pull the mail train? Uh, pulling the mail train is a job for a small engine like Percy, not a splendid tender engine like me. It's OK, Thomas. I don't mind pulling the mail train. If you're really not afraid, James, perhaps you'd like to prove it tonight by pulling the flying kipper for me. All right, Henry, I shall. I'm not afraid of a few fish. We'll see, James. We'll see. Now, Scruff didn't mind looking scruffy, but some of the other engines couldn't understand how he could bear it. Dear, oh dear, such a messy engine. Oh, I'd hate to be that dirty. If I looked that scruffy, I'd stay in my shed. It doesn't bother me. I'm happy just the way I am. Right, let's get you trucks back to the waste dump and get scratching. At Knapford Station, Scruff saw the fat controller and stopped to say good morning. Good morning, sir. Oh, my. Scruff, your paint is peeling and you're starting to rust. Maybe I could just have the rust scraped off, sir. Oh, no, 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 that won't do at all. There's only one way to get rid of rust. You'll need to be repainted. Repainted? Scruff was horrified. He didn't even like being washed and he was sure he wouldn't like being repainted. It was cold and snowy on the island of Sodor as Christmas drew near. At this time of year, Percy was always very busy. There were Christmas trees to deliver and the extra Christmas post Percy also had all his regular jobs, 
such as taking scrap to the scrapyard. It wasn't quite as special as carrying Christmas trees or delivering mail, but it was still very important. Hello, Reg. Oh, hello, Percy. Brought me some lovely scrap, have you? I certainly have. Aren't I the lucky one, then? Sorting scrap into different types is not everyone's idea of fun, but Reg loves his work. <laughs> <laughs>